In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove distractions and objects from photos really, really easily. And as a bonus, you're going to learn the two different modes of using the patch tool. So here's a photo I shot in my studio of Megan. And if you guys have ever done any studio stuff, sometimes you get the edge of a seamless or you get this kind of stuff on the seamless. I'm going to show you how to fix it. So we're going to use the patch tool today. Now there's two different modes in the patch tool and I get asked so many times, what's the difference between the source and the destination? Well, I'm going to show you right now. So we're going to start with source. And what I want to do is fix this edge. This is the edge of the white seamless. And as you can see, I was using gelled lights. So I had two lights there and I had one gelled with the pink and one for the blue to go for the cyberpunk kind of style. So what I'm doing is just making a selection around the edge. Now, if you hold down the shift key, it enables you to add to that selection. Great. Now, with this set to source, all I need to do is drag, and then what it does is it changes the source, or where you started. There's two places, the source, where you start, destination, where you end up. Let me drag to an area that's similar, release, that's fixed. There's a little bit there, I could go again if I wanted. Now, let me show you the second way of working, and that's with destination. So, I'm going to make a selection and a nice, clean part of the source. And I'm going to use this like a little sponge to just clean things up. Watch this. So as I move this, what it does is it changes the destination, replaces with the source. And look at this. It's like a little sponge. I'm just cleaning up all those smudges. I don't know if I've ever seen other people use it this way, but it's just so easy. I, you know, why use the clone stamp tool and content aware fill when you can just literally just go along with... It's like a little cleaning sponge. What are those little white cleaning things? If you let me know in the comments, you guys know the ones I'm talking about, the Mr. Clean little things, and you just kind of scrub your walls with them. You know what I'm talking about. So see this area? So I just want to grab something like the pink, maybe the pink up here. Let's grab a bigger one and just kind of drop it in here. And look at this, this will just clean it up nicely. And if it looks a little smudgy there, that's fine. Just grab a large chunk from over here and let's just drop it in there. There we go. There we go. Now, just a little trick here or a little bit of advice. Be careful that you don't go to the edge because if I go off the edge here and I patch that, now see how it's got that square and then it's going to leave a mark. See that little mark there? So just be careful that you don't do that. So let me know in the comments underneath if you guys ever used this before or did you understand source and destination with the patch tool? It's really simple. You're either replacing the source or you're replacing the destination. And so anyway, guys, I just want to wish you a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. And by the way, if you're new, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications and you won't miss any of my tutorials. Do me a favor, hit that like button, a thumbs up. It helps us with the YouTube alg algorithm. I don't know why algorithm is so hard to say. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.